Hi, my name is Mark Hanberry from Solidwood Machinery. Um, I've got a great little machine to show you. This is Maca SM7. Um, if any, but any of you are already familiar with some of my videos, you know that I like Maca mortising machines. Um, the reason I like them is they're simply the best way to do mortises. They're fast, um, versatile. You can do a whole bunch of different types of mortising with them. Um, they've got so many different sizes and shapes of chisels that you can get. They do the quickest, cleanest mortises on the planet, period. Um, they're a nice little small shop machine. Mac have been making mortising machines since um, they got the patents for the concept in uh, 1952, I think. They made um, uh, Maca SM7. They, they basically made two types of machine. They made a, a small machine like this with uh, the SM6 style head, which is uh, a lighter duty machine, but it's a lot faster. I like these. Um, they're good for small mortises in like um, furniture, cabinet work, that kind of stuff. The other machines um, were quite a bit larger and heavier duty, and they're a horizontal machine. Um, they're a bit slower. They're great for doing industrial work and big heavy entry doors and stuff, but uh, this machine is a real sweet small shop machine, and I really like them. SM6 machines were pretty much the industry standard for about 25 years, and then, um, Maca completely redesigned the entire machine in the mid 80s and they uh, put everything they had into this machine which is the SM7. Um, this has so many new great features on it. It still maintains some of the original uh, concepts of the SM6 in that um, you can use the machine horizontally or vertically so this head tips up and down. You can operate the machine from the back. Um, the controls for it are here and here, the control levers. So if you're doing uh, doors or large pieces of work, you can, you can take the fence off and operate from, from behind here. Um, most of the time, I do all the operation from the front. <coughs> As you can see, this is a pretty solid machine, probably weighs about 650 pounds, got a big cast iron base. <coughs> they did so many different things with this, um, they really put a lot of thought into it, a lot of engineering, and a lot of really good work. They've got the biggest features on this, um, are probably, they totally redesigned the feed unit here, they've got a massive cast iron column with square precision ground bedways instead of the, the two rods like the SM6 used to have. So this is a really nice unit. Um, this is a hand feed unit. They also had them with the air feed cylinder in here, but the hand feed ones are really quite nice. Um, you have adjustable spring tension on the back of this. You can adjust the, the feed pressure on here, especially if you're tipping it up and operating horizontally. One of the biggest features that I like on this machine is the sliding table. This whole table unit slides back and forth, so you can change the length of your slots without having to change any blades or any settings. Your wood is clamped on the table, set against the stops, clamped into place, and then you have a set of adjustable stops on this side, which uh, you set to stop the slide on the table. These are oscillating chisel mortises, so they chop the mortise out, they're very fast, very clean. Um, this has blowout jets on it, you can have one or two running, depending if you have a single blade or a double blade operating on it. Um, this sliding table also has a quick lock and release lever to operate it. So, sliding table, Beautiful, comes in super handy, really nice. Um, the flip stops and the fence, graduated fence are nice. The height adjustment on the table here is a rack and pinion. 
loosen these, wind the cable up, and it pushes your wood up till it touches the stock here. Another great feature of this machine is it here it has a pneumatic chip breaker. So we'll take the dust collector off it. Um, this pneumatic chip breaker, as soon as you start the feed, this presses down and holds it down, holds the wood down right in front of the chisel tip, so as the chisel tip is coming out, it doesn't tear out any fibres and give you any splintering. A <coughs> um, couple of other things. The stop setup on here is really interesting. Um, this system here uh, shows you this one. This lever here is the back stop, so you can set it how far up you want to come, so you don't have to waste a lot of time going all the way back up to the top each time. You can preset the stop down so it's just a half inch or three quarters away from your wood, like that, depending on the length of your chisel. So that's pretty handy, saves you a bit of time. Um, there's a graduated scale on here for you to set the depth of cut, depending on the length of the chisel you have in here. And they're written on here for a quick reference. So this is it, the depth stop for how deep you will cut into your wood. On this side there is a second depth stop so that you can do two different depth settings if you want to do haunch mortises. You set this for the second depth and you just flip that over and that stops you for the second depth. Flip it back up, continue to the first depth. So you have two depth stops here, two sliding stops here, two depth stops here. To bring the chisel in or out this way, um, loosen the clamp here and wind this out. Or you can, um, sometimes what I used to do is just set a, a shim plate in the back, take this out, put a half inch or inch plate in to move it in or out. So it's a really efficient machine, really nice machine. Um, I'll show you a little bit around it so you see what it looks like. And then we'll wind it up and watch it run. But to uh, give you a bit of an idea, it is really a, a really beautiful piece of machinery. <coughs> Here you can see the spring tension flip stop and brake system for the table. You can see the uh, down here the dovetail bedways, ground dovetail bedways for the sliding table. This is the setup here for the um, uh, blade guard and dust extractor. If you come around here, um, this part on the back here is the spring tension for the feed unit. Down here is the spring assist for the table tip back or the head tip back. <coughs> this is the locking lever to lock it into place. <coughs> and around here you will see this is the double fenced stop from side to side so you can set that up. Stop there. Slide it along, stop on this one. So you can set that uh, and you can also the second stop and you just move it into there and you've got the sliding table set within those two stops. So it's all very fast, very efficient, very nice. These are the blowout jets and this is simple on or off. Very nice. This is the, the feed unit you can see is a nice heavy unit there. Everything on here is all really well built solidly made it's all got uh, <coughs> grease nipples on it so you can uh, keep everything oiled and greased up nicely um, the air hose setups down there for the blowout jets uh, clamps and a spare air hose if you want to clean out the table and th this is one of the cutters i have in here on the front here you can see you can adjust the throw on these cutters All right, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll hook it up. That's the power box down here. So you've got the main disconnect switch, uh, on or off switch, and then this is the motor direction. 
So if you want to turn the motors around and cut in the other direction, you can do that also. Okay, what I'm going to do is hook the power up and uh, give it a run, show you what it works like. These are some of the mortises that I cut with that chisel. So what I'll do is I'll hook it up and show you. Okay, here you go. So you set the stock in there, lock your table into place, turn the power on, press the button, make sure the machine is going in the correct direction, push your wood up against the stock, Can't get much better than that. That does some fabulous work. I'll show you <coughs> an extremely fast, accurate, and versatile. You can get so many different size mortising cutters for it, and you can buy them or you can get them locally made. You can even make them yourself, but you can't beat that. It's 100 times faster than a hollow chisel mortiser and 100 times more accurate. SM7. Now I bought this one in from Germany. Chances are you won't find, probably won't find any of them in North America. I bought in three or four from Germany. They're the only ones I've ever seen. Beautiful piece of machinery. Uh, thanks very much for looking and please check out my website solidwoodmachinery.com. Thank you.